Today, I would like to present a medical application that only requires a web browser. I am going to use Mozilla Firefox, although other browsers can also be used. I am entering the address of the website, which provides an application to explore blood vessels. Other medical applications can also be made available through this web-based method. Here I can load a demo in the case menu and at the same time, the software processes DICOM data and loads the previously rendered vessel segmentations. Now we can see the user interface on the main page, which contains four viewers. On the left side, we have an interactive 3D MIP viewer. In the upper right, we can see a stretched view of the currently selected vessel. In center right, we can see a diagram that plots the minimal diameter of the vessel, aided by segmentation of the vessel position. Besides these views are also standard views for the sagittal, coronal, and axial views of the image data. In addition, there is a so-called curved view, which displays the vessel in a curved planar reformation. This view is also synchronized with other viewers so that the user can set the vessel position. To measure a stenosis, the corresponding vessel is first selected. This can be done through the 3D MIP. I now select a vessel in the demonstration case that has a stenosis and navigate with the cursor to the position where I consider the stenosis to be strongest. In addition to automatically defining the diameter, the user can also perform manual length measurements with the mouse. After finding this position, I can add a new stenosis object to the software by clicking the Add Stenosis button which consists of two additional parameters. The next parameter I need to define is the reference diameter. I must choose this distal to the stenosis position. I set the reference at a position where the vessel is healthy. For the last step, I have to define the length of the stenosis here in the stretched view, by performing a length measurement with the mouse and confirming this parameter with accept length. The measurement of the stenosis is thus completed. All measurements are now available in the measurements menu above the toolbar and appear next to the names of the segments for which the stenosis was measured. The automatically calculated degree in percent is also shown. So, that finishes a brief insight into our demo software. One could imagine other medical software being used with this technology very quickly on the web, using any other browser.